Hi guys, so we're starting the video a little different than normal. Obviously, I'm not in my studio. Today, I wanted to do some Dollar Tree nails. I feel like it's been a really long time since I've done nails that aren't on the more expensive side and I want to make sure I'm not only doing nails with stuff that is expensive because you can do nails with stuff from basically anywhere. It's really just about what you can make do. So I want to grab some stuff from the Dollar Tree and we're going to do some nails with it. I've also seen some people's hauls from the Dollar Tree and some Dollar Trees get really good stuff. So I want to go to a couple. I might have to go to a couple. And then we're going to go home and do some nails and I'll show you guys my little haul. So yeah, we are at... Oh god, it just started raining. Okay, so I'm going to go before it starts pouring. I don't think I'm allowed to film, but I'll do my best. Oh my gosh, okay. Here we go. I did not prepare for this. So I was thinking I was gonna have to go to like a ton of different Dollar Trees, but that one had so much. I was so impressed with it. Like a little drill and just like straight press on nails. Um, anyway, so I think I'm honestly just good with the stuff I got. I have some other errands to run today though, however. So if I do come across another Dollar Tree, I'm gonna go in and just see what they have. Um, but I'm super impressed. Like last time, I think last time I went to the Dollar Tree, they did not have like a drill and just like press on nails already done. I think that is super cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go run errands in the rain. This one has a lot of press ons, although these ones look like they're for kids. These ones look fine. Oh wait, we found some more press ons. These ones look nice. some brush on nail glue perfect okay so we're back um excuse this i just haven't been getting ready lately so let's do a haul now i'm just gonna grab one by one out of the bag and we'll go through it i got some wedges so we could do some ombres or something like that we did get some plain nail tips granted these are pretty short and honestly they look really really small maybe they look like they are like sized for kids kinda. I don't know if these will even really fit me, but I guess we'll just have to see. That's why we're trying this stuff. Just a nail clipper, pretty standard. A file. But I did get some just like regular paint brushes just in case I wanted to try to do some like nail art with them or something like that. They don't look like they're super detailed or anything like that, so I'm not quite sure about that. But nonetheless, I got some brushes. Another file. This nail art pen. Um, looks like it has a glitter and I think like a pen for designs or something like that. So I will definitely probably try this because it looks fun. Some glitters. Again, this was more of like an art sort of thing, but worth a try. This says an embossing tool, but this is just a daughter tool. You can always use it on nail products as well. I got this in the art section, but we're going to use it for nails. A electronic nail kit, which is just a e-file essentially. This will be really interesting to try to see if it has much power or anything like that. I'm really excited to try it. I think it's really cool that just even like the dollar store has these. Even if it's just to like rough up your natural nails or help with, you know, clean up your cuticles. I think that's really great. Um, it says for acrylic and natural nails. I don't think it's probably going to be for acrylic. I don't think it's going to be that strong. But again, we'll see. I did get these four Art Deco nail art polishes. Really excited about these. Look like some great colors they have. Black, white, green, gold. You can do a ton with that. So I'm really excited to try these out. I'm probably most excited about these. A buffer. A lot of the stuff is from the Sassy and Chic. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen that brand outside of Dollar Tree. I wonder if it's Dollar Tree's brand, like house brand. I got both a brush on glue and a squeeze out glue. Some more press ons. These ones look a little bit more promising. These ones are pretty much ready to wear. You pop on, call it good. Um, if this is the largest size in here, we might have a problem. Cause I mean, 
yeah, I don't know. I don't even have super big nail beds, but if this is the biggest it goes, it's not going to fit my nails. So we'll have to see about that. Some cuticle remover so it can like soften your cuticle, push them back. We'll use this for sure, we'll try it. A little manicure set, so it has a little clipper, a little cuticle pusher in here, some scissors, and I was probably a little file, so super cute. So from there, we did just get these polishes. Um, I got a nude one, and then of course some pink, some white, and I really liked this really pretty glitter one. I just thought it was like super pretty. So that's everything I got. If I zoom out, you can sort of see what I'm working with. I'm going to take this set off now and then we will go from there with doing a set of nails. Oops, okay. I also got this. It's a top coat. It's a super dry, quick dry because you guys know I'm working with nail polish here, which means I need to have patience and let it dry. So I was like, I need something to help it dry quicker. So I got the quick dry nail polish thing. So yeah, I'm gonna go just really quickly zoom off and take these nails off. I've been on so long. Look at how grown out they are for me. I got myself with the drill while I was doing my dog's nails but they're pretty grown out and gross now. So I'm happy to get them off and do a new set. So yeah, let's get on with that. Okay, so I just took my nails off. There's a little bit of gel still on them so you can see like some shiny bits. That's fine with me. We're going to try to use this. So let's open this. Okay, this is pretty light. Then we got three bits from it. So this needs a, uh-oh, I need a tiny screw. I hope you meant tiny screwdriver. I did. That's what I figured. Okay. And we just need one battery. Which way does it go in? I do not know. Ooh, I'm nervous. Okay, so none of these honestly feel particularly rough. <laughs> did I just shove it in? And I mean, oh, okay, this does move. Okay, so I loosen it. Out. Oh no, wait. I don't even know. I don't think this does anything. Okay, let's just hope for the best. Hello? I don't think it's doing anything. I don't, okay, I did everything on here. I mean, I'm fairly certain. Yep. Okay, plus, I'll try a different battery though, in case that's the issue. I don't think it should be though. <gasps> oh, okay, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. Oh my gosh, okay. It was the battery. Crisis averted. I don't think this does anything, honestly. Oh, <gasps> it works. Okay, let's see. If I'll zoom you guys in really close on my crusty dusty nail. This just still has a little bit of gel on it. And we'll see if it does anything for like even just my cuticle or anything on here. I'm seeing some dust. That's a good sign. It does kind of work on my natural nail, but once it starts to hit like even this gel, It like doesn't do anything for the gel, but on my actual nail, it does file it a bit, which is pretty cool. This is honestly much more powerful than I thought it was going to be, which is really cool. We'll use this a little bit later if we need to do any sort of filing like that. I'm getting ahead of myself. Manicure set, first of all, let's grab nail clippers. I'm sure these will work just fine. I only have a little bit of like new growth to clip off. Voila. Now we have some cuticle remover, then strip on the cuticle and push it back. We have our cuticle pusher right here. just like a gel, so I'm just gonna, probably got way too much, that's my bad. The one I usually use is like a liquid. Mm. 
honestly, this cuticle remover is not it. I'm having a really hard time with it. And this doesn't really feel like it's doing anything more than just like a lotion would do. I mean, they're kind of pushed back. I'm gonna go wash my hands now. Okay, and here we have those. So we do have a little bit to clip off. Honestly, I'm scared to use this though, but what the heck? Ooh. No, I don't think I should do it. I'm going to buff out my cuticles with the buffer on the drill. Honestly, this is only really hard because you have to push it while you do it. So you can't hold it how you want to, to be more precise. You have to hold it like this way. Honestly, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. I am also going to be using some rubbing alcohol, which honestly I didn't get at the Dollar Tree, but to be fair, I could have. So I'm just going to wipe off with rubbing alcohol, which you will want to do with basically any time you do your nails. So it'll help everything stick better. Now that my cuticles are all red from trying to do that, it's a great time to start. So I'm going to open up these tips as well as these tips and see what we're working with. Start with these ones. So it looks like this will fit. I feel like I have pretty small nail beds for like an adult. I don't know if this is the biggest one. It says it's a one, I think. So let me see if they have a zero. There is a zero, okay. And this one is the biggest one and it is a little bit bigger than what I would personally use. I would use this one. The one fits perfect in my opinion. So if you have nail beds that are like a bigger than mine, I don't know about this, but we're actually going to try something else today. So I've heard of people doing this. I've never tried it myself though. However, what's the biggest one in here? They are not labeled. I think this is the biggest one, which again would work for my nail, but will not work for everyone. So what about these ones? Are these ones bigger? Maybe a tiny bit, but we have these. So what I'm actually going to do, like I was saying before I cut myself off, is I'm going to try to the thing where you layer multiple tips to try to make some length. I've heard of people doing this before. I've never actually watched anyone do it, but I know other people do do it. So I think that's what I wanna to do today. So we'll put like one there. And then what we would do is grab potentially a smaller one and then put one say like that. And then we would file them smooth in, into the shape we want. So that's what I'm gonna to try today. These blue ones seem fine, but I think we're just gonna to go to the clear. So I think I'm gonna use this instant nail glue as well as the brush on nail glue because we will brush on a couple layers over the top of our nail to add some strength. Where did I put it? How do I lose things? I swear I'm the queen of losing things that are like right in front of my face. It was literally just like right here. Okay, so to make sure that all of these will stay on my nail, I am going to just prep them by roughing them up a little bit. They're already pretty rough considering I just took off my last set, but I'm probably going to wear these nails for a bit to make sure that they sort of hold up. So I want them to be able to stay on. And then once again with the rubbing alcohol. Perfect. We'll try the instant nail glue. So, I think I need to poke it open. Do I? Yep. Okay. Oh, that was my fault. It needed to be open. Okay, so how I put on any, whoa. Okay, this is very liquidy. Sort of spread that around and then I'm just going to hold it on. Wow, my hands with such short nails. I'm just going to put the nails on the base first and then we can do the extension part. I do have a bruise on this nail. I'm gonna try to put a good amount on this one, but this stuff is so liquidy. I'm getting like air bubbles, but if I push out any more, then I'm getting glue everywhere. So neither of those are great things. 
and I am just what trying to wipe away any extra of the rubbing alcohol. Ooh, who am I? I don't normally put like the glue straight on the tip, but it might be best in this scenario. Maybe, maybe that's best. This is perfect if you do want just that like tiny bit of length. They're already a pretty nice shape too. I'm gonna round off the cuticles on the pinky one a little bit. Who am I? I am hoping that this will work to add a little bit of length. I'm just thinking I'll probably go for like a stiletto. So let's try it. I'm gonna try this glue the brush on one and you gotta be so careful cause there's no stopper or anything like that, which means this is bad for me. And then we'll also brush on a layer over, maybe two. Ah! <gasps> I did it, Jesus. No, 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 no. Oh God, oh God, no, 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 no. I accidentally spilt it on this. It almost caught on fire. Oh my God, this was almost really bad. Okay, that can happen with nail glue, super glue, crazy glue, etc. Um, It can just like, if, it's, if you like put it on something kind of flammable or if you put it on like paper, it can just get so hot. I don't know the chemical thing with it, um, but it can catch on fire. Be so careful. I'm gonna have to get myself a new glass tomorrow. Damn it. And I got it all over myself. I knew this was gonna be a mess. Okay, look at this. What is this? Um, we're just gonna truck along. <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm honestly really stressed. Okay, that was like really scary. Okay, so unless you trust yourself 1000%, do not get this one because it just being open like this and just being able to like fully pour out is terrifying and a safety hazard if you are even like the slightest bit clumsy. If that's you, do not do it. Like I was even being super careful. You guys can probably think I'm not, I was, I promise. I was trying to be super careful and that happened. Okay. So I have a little bit of length now, which is good. I'm going to be right back and I'm gonna to try to get all of this glue off of me. I'm gonna just really quickly though, is I'm just gonna go over the tops of these. That way we, everything is all fine and sort of hopefully a little leveled, I don't know. Okay, I'm back. I got a lot of the stuff off. I'm gonna to try to be more careful. Honestly, I'm really, I'm a little upset to be honest because I thought I was being careful and I was like really confident I wasn't going to spill it and then I spilt it and then it started smoking. Then it got all over my hands. And you know when something just like isn't going the way you wanted and like you were confident it was going to, I'm a little upset. It's fine though. Instead of just stopping and quitting, um, I'm gonna go on. We're gonna make it or it's gonna be fine. We're fine. Okay. I'm going to use this little thing of scissors to actually cut off a little bit of these tips so we don't have to file as much, just that little bit off. And then I'm going to take this, which has a little bit of a coarser grit, and I'm just going to file the nails into shape. They are pretty curved though. And then I'm going to then use a little bit of the smoother side to make this little ridge right here smooth. Okay, and I'm actually able to get it pretty smooth. Like it doesn't feel like a big ridge or anything. Honestly, okay, this one's not coming out too bad. Need it to be a little bit more even on each side, but a little bit better than the thumb. The thumb's not the best, but I think we're gonna be able to save this set. I'm trying to be positive. Okay, 
And they actually don't look bad now. I think they actually look fine now. Like they're just obviously need to be painted. I'm trying to think so that way I can like use a decent amount of the stuff. So I want to use this white. Where did the nude go? Here it is. This nude. I'm gonna somehow probably try to work that in and some this. Oh, I should probably also use this. We'll use this right now. I'm just going to smooth out the nails a little bit more with the buffing block. Okay, I'm gonna do one more wipe with alcohol. Just get all the dust off and everything else like that. Wow, okay, maybe this is gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. <gasps> Except for my glass here. My glass is done, it has glue all over it. So here's where we're at. It's not super bad. Almost tolerable, almost acceptable, you could say. Like, there's no big ridge or anything on these. Okay, let's start with this polish. And these also have hardeners in them, which means it should also help with the strength of the nail. I did shake this plenty, I promise. Why am I painting this? Like I've never painted anything before in my life. I think because this is so short. Okay, here it is. Now I wait. Actually, I think I'm gonna put a base of all this on all of them. I'm gonna probably do more or less a different design for each nail. Here we are, and I'm going to not move at all so that this can dry. I'm not moving this hand from this place. Okay, so that is dried. You can see the texture of some of the filing underneath, but that doesn't really matter because we will top it off with a top coat. I'm going to use one of these wedges. No one tell my dentist that I'm using my mouth to open these. <laughs> and let's do an ombre on the thumb. Ooh, okay, kind of working. Some texture, but otherwise looks okay. I'm gonna leave that and then let's open this. I probably should have opened all these before. I feel bad, I feel like some of you tell me that my videos relax you, but I feel like I'm probably just stressing y'all out right now. I'm stressing myself out. I'm really excited to see. Ooh, look at the wand on this, looks great. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna try to do kind of like a, a f ooh, okay, okay. A French tip, kinda. I wanna do one of these like French tips that are still like triangular. I think that looks okay. I think we need to go over the white one a little bit because it looks like white, but I want it like really white. That way it matches our French tip. Is that called a French tip? There we go. Now let's use this. I'll have to see what this looks like. Clean opening, we love that. What's this side look like? Okay, so a regular polish. What up? This. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Did you guys have these when you were younger? I remember my mom ordered me one of those. Ah, like a ton of these off of like it's as seen on TV thingy. I missed these. This brings back so much nostalgia. I don't even know what to do with it now though. I am gonna use this paper. I do want this glitter though. Is it just like loose? It is, okay, that's fine, that's fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint one more coat of this color cause the glitter will essentially just like stick to that and we'll just I like it. I'm gonna just pat it down though a little bit because I want it flat. There's nothing worse than when it is like all textured. I personally cannot stand when there is textured glitter on my nail. It makes me want to freak out. And then with this 
thingy. This is a gamble. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna work. I wanna try to line this nail. I was holding my breath, okay. Mm. I will wipe it off before I do that. I'm gonna just see if I can make it like more defined again. Okay, you know what, it's okay. I don't think it's the end of the world for this nail. It's definitely not great, but you know, as we say here, it's fine. To make it a little bit more cohesive, we should probably maybe do like an ombre with this one. The ombres do come out nice though, I do have to say. Okay, that wasn't it. <sighs> Can I just save this all with glitter? I don't know. Me trying to save this nail by covering it and to find out this polish isn't even opaque. <sighs> I think I'm frustrated because this set doesn't look very me, but it's not a bad set. Like it's not bad. It's not good, but <laughs> it's not bad. See if the top coat makes it look any better. Hoping that it's like a nice, Thick top coat to sort of smooth everything out, kinda. Okay, so here are the nails. I'm honestly not super happy with them. I don't know why. I think because they're short maybe and it's just not me. I don't know, I think they're okay. Like if I saw them on someone else, I'd be like, oh, those are cute. But just on me, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is I told my husband to come here and we're gonna do his nails with this stuff and probably try to do a cooler design. Okay, so first of all, what do you think of my nails? I think they look pretty good. Uh-huh. Uh, you don't like them, do you? They're, they're fine. <laughs> They're short. That's they what it short. is. They're short. I know. Short. I know. I said I don't really love them either. Anyway, give me your hand. Also, I spilled glue everywhere. Mm. That was the whole thing. You would you say it's a sticky situation? Shut up. You ready? Yeah. Let's see. It actually worked. I'm really surprised. Like especially like it was like a dollar, right? A dollar. Yeah. Isn't that good for a dollar? That's really impressive. Didn't you get one from like Wish? Or Shein? Or, or Shein or something that like wasn't one dollar but it didn't work as well? Yeah. Actually, it does work pretty well actually. Dollar store bops. High key bops. Give me your other finger. <laughs> put your hand back. <laughs> Did you just see that? <laughs> I put your hand back up there. You're out of frame. <laughs> Trying to drill a hole into my finger. Does that hurt? No. Then why were you? <laughs> I feel like it would be strangely satisfying to like itch something with that. David. Who threw that? <laughs> Persephone. Don't blame her. I'm doing this really sloppy, by the way. If you're actually working on someone like professionally <laughs> don't do this. I just figured I'd do that just like a little bit so that around the edge around the edges it would um help stick a tiny bit better. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. I'm watching you. I don't know what I would be doing. <laughs> um okay we're gonna do white today. I'm about it. Also, I'm trying to do this so it's in frame and like we're not across the table from each other. We're like literally sitting right next to each other. So this is a really bad angle, honestly. Or maybe just lay it up. Honestly, these brushes could use a little bit of work because they're a little all over the place. I should have filed your nails. You clip them weird. I, I just clip them across. 
across, it's like diagonal. It's like dun dun dun. <laughs> Well, yeah, because the clippers aren't big enough to like go across the entire nail, so you have to do like one half and then the other half. <laughs> what did you do? I didn't do anything. <laughs> Literally, the one time David, I'm, I'm, still, I'm joking. I'm being attacked. I'm calling my attorney. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Taking you to court. Over. Slander. <laughs> <laughs> Why is your hand wet? It's hot in my office. <laughs> Today's just not, it's not going. Look, here's, I have, I have a wonderful solution to this problem. Wait, 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 for the, for like the stuff right there. Right, w ready, where's the nail drill? No. Look, it's, it's just soft enough. I bet, I bet you it'll work. No, we're not doing that. Okay, I'm gonna cheat and use some acetone. I think they had nail polish remover there, but I did not need that. And I did not think to get it there. Right, but also can you say they didn't have acetone there? Well, I mean, I don't think their stuff was pure acetone, but it would have probably worked fine. See, they had acetone there, so it's fine. Can you just like break your wrist and like, oh, that would be snowy. <laughs> though they can't see. Yeah, they can. They can see perfect. <laughs> Look at the. No, it would need to be more of like that. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> I didn't know this was a requirement. <laughs> I'm a little shaky. Okay, you need to be absolutely pinned still. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do both. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah. How about we do it like, like right here? Okay. Like that's a lot easier. This has like a tiny, tiny little extra one that needs to be cut off. Or alternatively. It's just a really, really fine tip. It's too fine though, it's making everything not work. You're too fine. <laughs> <laughs> that, nail uh, that nail does not look very happy. I'm not happy right now. I am, because I get to hang out with you. Shut up. <laughs> That's what you're getting, you're just getting a bunch of sad faces. I'm okay with that. It's a cyclops. <laughs> no. I'm a fan. Okay, my hand's done. I'll top coat it in a bit. I love it. <laughs> Are we, you doing this one too? No, I'm gonna just leave you with one. Okay. No, get, get your hand back. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'll do it. Question for you. How do I have nail polish right there? Where? Um, I don't know. How did you get nail polish right there? That's what I'm asking you. The only thing I've done is just put my hands here. Are you saying I got nail polish everywhere? I'm asking if you got nail polish everywhere. <laughs> ah, a manicure set. Is that what this came in? Yeah. Can I steal this one? Looks like a little throwing knife. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, that kind of looks like a face, like that big like hole is the mouth. Would using a sponge be easier? No. Oh, hey, I figured out where that white came from. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you scraped it? Uh-huh. <laughs> and you were accusing me? Yeah, that's like the perfect size, too, like. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey, look, I admit it. I was wrong. Mm-hmm. You're off the hook. <laughs> you have a lot of audacity right now. <laughs> I do have a request. Mm-hmm. This may not be part of your Dollar Tree haul. Okay. Can I have some of your special glitter? My special glitter? The one that you made, mixing them all together? Why, what do you want it for? To put on my nails, like, I want it on my nails. You want it on your nails? Yeah. Like right now? Or after, I don't know. Or a different day. That's like I gotta encapsulate that with gel, it's chunky. Okay. <laughs> Or are we kind of like ombreing it down? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I swear this isn't me. Like this brush, it doesn't like go down smoothly. It like, it's like so clumpy and like thick. It just like doesn't spread out. Like it, look at how thick that is. And it doesn't spread. It just stays thick. 
idea. Water it down. No, it's the brush. It's not the, oh. it's not the polish. So the brush is too thick. The brush is the problem. It's not the polish. Polish is fine. Oh, I need to fix that other nail, don't I? I don't know who did that. Hand it over. My favorite nail is this one. Yeah, that's the best one. A picture frame is just a window to a picture. <laughs> Uh, I thought you were doing like little dots, so I thought I was gonna look like a snowman. I was gonna, but it just doesn't go. I'm a fan. <laughs> Put that hand somewhere where you're not gonna touch it. Why, why would you think I would touch it? <laughs> Ta-da. Ta-da. Did you get that dotting tool at the... Yeah, I did. Wow, you did find a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. This video is a mess. Please give it a like or not. I don't know. Or give it a dislike if it was terrible. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Have a great day. No, that wasn't That's it. That's not what I say, no. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I'll... Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Here are mine. Oh, not that hand. Ta-da!